Okay, so I'm just gonna start with my eyebrows and what I'm gonna use for my eyebrows is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade in the shade Medium Brown. And this is one of my favorite brow products to use and I would recommend it, so yeah. But it does dry out at, like really fast, so don't forget to, you know, close the lid because I've done that a few times. But I mean, if it does dry out, you can always just add a bit of oil in it and you're good to go. So yeah, I'm just gonna fill in my eyebrows. I like to use a dark brown because I feel like when I use black um, on my eyebrows, it's just a bit too, too harsh, you know? And this is pretty dark anyway, like you can see. Talking about brows, um, is it true that eyebrow pencil makes your eyebrow hair fall out? Or is that just a myth? But is it true? Does anyone know? Let me know. <laughs> okay, so I've done my eyebrows and then once I've done that, what am I gonna do? I'm gonna go ahead and do my skin. So let me zoom you out. That was definitely the wrong way. <laughs> so moving on to skin. Um, obviously, as you can tell by the title, I do want this to be like really dewy, glass-like reflective you know you you get the gist so what i'm gonna do first is i'm gonna put some more moisturizer on and to moisturize i use the ordinary 100 percent plant derived scalene but yeah this is what i use it's a it's an oil so if you don't like oils or if they don't work with your skin i wouldn't recommend it but i personally really love oils for my skin so this is what i'm using today for my skin, what am I going to do? Firstly, I'm going to go ahead and use the Cover Effects Custom Enhanced Drops in the shade Moonlight. I'm just going to put this all over my face. I'm just going to go ahead and use the Insta Flawless Skin Tint in the shade Medium. Have you guys seen the, um, the new Instagram feature or the new Instagram app or I don't know, whatever you want to call it. What do you guys think about that? I don't know how I feel about it yet. I mean, I feel like it might be a little bit unnecessary, but then again, I kind of like it because I feel like it's a little bit more casual than YouTube. So it's like, I don't, if I wanted to upload a video, it could be quick and it doesn't have to be edited. It doesn't have to be very professional. So I kind of like that, but I mean, right now I feel like it might be a little bit unnecessary. Like with everyone already complaining about so many different things about Instagram and then they go ahead and bring an app out uh, well, instead of just listening to people. Um, anyway, off my phone. Okay, um, so I've got my foundation on. I'm gonna go ahead and move on to concealer. And the concealer I'm gonna use is the Instant Anti-Age Eraser Eye Concealer. And this is one of my favourite concealers ever. This is like one of my favourite concealers, like I was saying. And it's cheap, so that's always a plus. And I'm just going to use a sponge to blend that out. This makeup look I'm doing now is inspired by Danessa Myricks. I don't know if any of you have ever come across her Instagram page or any of the makeup she's done, but if you haven't, I would highly suggest it. But I love, love, love her makeup looks. So once I've got my concealer on, I'm gonna go ahead and set it. And the setting powder I'm gonna use is the Satcha Translucent Powder. I'm just gonna get rid of the crease in. And I'm not trying to bake or anything. I'm just gonna lightly powder under my eyes just so the concealer doesn't crease up even though my concealer creases up no matter what powder I use but you know once I've powdered under my eyes and you know where I'm gonna crease I'm gonna go ahead and contour my face and I'm gonna use cream contour and the one I'm gonna use today is the Rimmel Insta Duo Stick in the shade Dark Brush. 
Once that is done, we're going to go ahead and move on to highlighter. And to highlight first, I'm going to use a liquid highlighter and I'm using the Cover FX one. Just going to use my finger to blend that out. Okay, so after I've used the liquid highlighter, I'm going to go ahead and use a powder on top. And the powder highlight I'm going to be using today is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Gleam Glow Kit. And I'm probably going to take the shade Crushed Pearl, which is this one here. Before I dip my brush back in, I'm just going to take whatever's left on it and just drag that under my eye. And then for blush, I'm going to use the Mina Cosmetics blush in the shade 103. And this is what that looks like. And that is pretty much it for the skin. So now we can move on to the eyes. Okay, so for the eyes, the first thing I'm gonna do is start off by curling my eyelashes. Okay, so I'm not really gonna be using eyeshadows or eye products for this look because I don't have the shade of purple that I want with eyeshadows. So I'm gonna use lipstick. <laughs> um, Okay, and the first one I'm going to use is the Bourjois Rouge Edition Velvet in the shade number 25, Berry Chic. So yeah, I mean, if you have this shade um, as a powder, go ahead and use it. I just don't have one this dark. So I'm just going to put that, let me just work with one eyelid first. I'm going to put that on my eyelid. No, let's just use our fingers for now. I'm just going to blend that out as much as I can. Do you know what, let me just look. I might actually have one. I found some Anastasia Beverly Hills eyeshadow. This one's in the shade Not Today. I am going to be putting it over the top so hopefully it will be pretty pigmented because I do want it to be really dark. Yeah, you know what, that's, that's pretty good. And it is quite messy at the moment, so don't worry about that, like, it's, it's not that big of a deal. Now, I'm going to go ahead and blend it out with a different brush. I'm just going to blend that together as best as I can. And then I'm just going to take this, some more of this purple and run it under my lash line. And once I'm pretty much happy with the way that looks, I'm gonna go ahead and take the Mina Cosmetics Eye Gloss. This is obviously the purple one. <laughs> and I'm gonna take the Makeup Forever. This is, I think, yeah, a lip gloss. What does it say? It says lip paint. So I'm gonna take this. This one's in the shade 501. I'm just gonna mix them together. Hit my finger again. Okay, so once I'm pretty happy with the way it looks, I'm gonna go ahead and apply some mascara. The mascara I'm gonna use today is the Ultra Volume Mascara by Mina Cosmetics. Okay, so once everything is done, I'm gonna go ahead and use my Fix Plus to just bring everything together and make me more dewy. <laughs> Yeah, this is pretty much it guys. Once you let your face dry, you're good to go. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.